Rock hound into the night, rock hound into the night. Ooh, rock hound into the night, rock hound into the night. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Hey all Ryan here from Planetary Lapidary on the western shore of Lake Michigan once again on my short stretch. It's about 35 degrees, but it's actually not too bad out, not too much wind, so should have a pretty good day. Let's see what we can find. So it is very, very calm out here, and you got a little layer of ice right on the edge, so it might be tough to see stuff, but I can see in this first cut right here now too, so I might be able to see some more stuff. Let's see if we can find something quick. This is a cool little piece. A lot of different layers, maybe some nice. All right, let's see what we can find. Okay, so as I'm walking here, I didn't even dig it out yet. It might be frozen in there, but a nice cold water pocket right in this thing. Ooh, Ooh that is cold. Yeah, look at that. That's sweet. Wonder if that goes through. Doesn't really look like it would, but Really cool for a first find. All right, let's find some more like that. This is turning out to be a little more challenging than I thought. You know, I can see out there, but it's hard to get them when I do see something because I don't want to get soaked and frozen. But uh, these little things are cool. Look at where the ice froze around rocks and then must have came off. There's one, one right there, one right there. That's cool. All right, let's see if we can find something else here. So a couple little finds here. Just a little really dirty stromatoporoid. Maybe some algae layers on there. It's probably not going to keep that one. And then got this kind of glob of, I don't know, it looks like the inside of that might be a really cool pattern with the orange. But it's got this big fracture on it. I don't know, probably won't take that one either. Right, let's find some more in the ice. Here's kind of a cool, just kind of like a basalty piece with just a big section of quartz right there in the end. I like quartz. All right, let's find some more. I just bent down to pick up this little quartzy favocytes. And there was actually this one right here. Oh, there's a big piece of beach glass right there too. We'll grab that too. Piece of glass. Yeah, so this guy. Just a really, really cool piece of like a banded chert probably. It's just I like the black chert when it's cutting through other things. It's really cool. Kind of a too big to do anything with, but still cool to see. Set that guy up. All right, let's find some more. Think of this straw mat tucked in under the whew, ice. Yeah, a very churdy one, but it's got that mudstone contrast. Kind of dirty. Still cool though. Probably not gonna take it. It's kind of oddly shaped to get anything out of. But all right, onward. Just found a couple pieces of quartzite here. Maybe even straw mat and quartzite, but. Big dusky piece, and then another smaller one. You can kind of see the scrum mat layers in this one a little better, but just in quartzite instead of in the other materials. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's find some more. Just found this really, really tiny fossil soup. You can see like the little crinoid stems right there. It's just kind of full of everything. Got a little bit of wispiness right there. So I might actually take this one to cut it. It's actually a good size. Maybe get a really cool cross section out of that. A lot of tiny fossils. All right, onward. Right there is definitely something. I just gotta time it right so I don't get a soak free. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's sweet. Ooh, look at that. Huge piece of favocytes. That's a pretty quartzy one, too. I don't know. I might take that one. Probably not. It's a little gritty. But a really cool, nice big piece. Kind of the layers coming through here on the top. Kind of looks like an eye. 
All right, let's find a couple more. We're getting to the end of the beach. And then I'm going to do the other side of the ice here on the way back. So let's get okay, going. So I'm at the end of the beach. Found a couple cool little things here. Found this, which is just some basalt, but it's got some, I don't know if that's calcite or maybe epidote running all the way through that. So I'm definitely going to take that to cut some slabs. If I can get some green and black contrast, that would be awesome. So that one's definitely coming home. And then I found just a little dirty straw mat, dirty, dirty straw mat. So that one's not coming along. And then this cool little piece too. Just a tiny little piece, but might just be some banded shirt or something. It was just a cool little piece. So I might actually bring that one home too. Just a cool little one. Maybe, you know, grind it down and make a tiny little jewel out of it. All right, so let's walk uh, back towards the car and we'll see if we can find anything else on the upper shelf of the ice shelf found these two really cool mud stones right next to each other. This little handheld one with the broader bands, narrow bands. And then this guy. Look at that thing. That's crazy. So I think I'm definitely going to take this one to cut and try to get some through some of that. Look at that. It's like a almost like a heart shape on the top of that border around there. That's pretty sweet. All right, let's find a couple more on the way back to the car. A couple more cool little finds. This is just a little sandstone. It's just got some red, some red and black lines in it. Kind of cool. And then this, I don't know what this is. This is just weathered basalt, and this green whatever is just the weathered color of this, but it looks like it's got all little vesicles. It's definitely not a fossil, I don't think. Some type of weird weathering, maybe a diabase or gabbro or something. I don't know. Don't know. If anybody knows, let me know. All right, let's find a couple more and we should be back to the car. All right, so two steps later and I just found this thing. Look at how swirly it is. Through there, maybe a little pocket right in the middle there. And all this craziness, like an eye. And a big pocket right there. That's sweet. That might be a cut through the middle and see all the craziness on the inside this way. All right, let's find a couple more of those. All right, so last one before I get to the car here and just show you what we kept. I just fought, saw this. I figured I better show you while the sun's out. You can just kind of see right there, there's a green agate pocket right there, right in the side of this. And then it comes out this side too. So I think I'm going to definitely take this one to cut and see if I can get any more of that to come out. Look at that. All right, so a little bit, little bit here and we'll be back to the car. I'll show you what, we, uh, what we're taking home. Right, so I'll show you what I got here. I'm only taking these five home. Um, I'll try to get the best light I can because I'm not going to get any close-ups for this video. But this was that basalt with kind of maybe just calcite or maybe some of that epidote in there. I'm going to slice that, get some slabs, try to get some good cross-sections. Then same thing with this one. This was just that fossil soup with all the tiny little fossils in there. You can kind of see them all right there maybe if I can get some light. You know, all through there. So that one I'm also going to cut, try to get a really cool cross section. Then we got this crazy one with all of that wispiness going on. The big pocket there. All the wispiness on the back and maybe a pocket maybe some bands right there but i'm gonna cut through the middle of this thing for sure see what's in there it's probably gonna be awesome <clears throat> and we got that other one that just was all that skin that i looked for and then you just got a green agate pocket right there could just be a uh, full of chert in there or that could go all the way through you know there's a piece coming through right there so maybe it's just a seam that goes through around it but I think I'm gonna cut that one as well right through the middle see if I can catch any of that and then last but definitely not least was another one that just had that skin on there and then boom big cold water pocket in there very plumy looking in there so maybe like a mossy one but I do see some clearness coming through this side too so I think I might have to just zip that one in half to see what's in there I don't know though we'll see but yeah so not a bad hunt today it was actually pretty nice weather so yeah if you like this video leave a like 
subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next one bye bye